I'm just adding another layer to a moon jar. So I start off by just trimming the top section because I was a little bit uneven. So uh, take that off and um, hopefully that will help get rid of that there. The next thing I need to do is moisten the rim and do a bit of cross hatching. So here's a sponge. That's great, okay. And I have this lad here, which is quite good. It's got teeth on it, so if I do this, there's a nice pattern. And around in there. So now, hope for the best. Now I'm just going to add a coil. I have one here, hopefully it's long enough. Um, This was made yesterday, so hopefully I'll get away with it. So if I just lay it carefully on this, and I think you need to pay quite a lot of attention to make sure you get it right. So, so now, hang on a minute now. So we start from here, opposite, opposite the join, so that, um, I'm just paying some attention as to whether this is going to be thrown up or thrown out. Where you put the coil, the diameter of the coil is important. So I'm just going to be throwing up and slightly in. So I have a bit of a cross, just, just that, put that there, join it in, put a little bit of clay under there. Now, this is the exciting bit. Now. What I'm going to do is just push down all the way around uh, to join that. They have a much more efficient way of doing this in Korea, but I haven't uh, really had an opportunity to do that. Uh, although I was trying to work out a variant of it. So this is just what I use at the moment. It's great because it means then I don't have to start off with a huge lump that's physically hard to um, to throw and also the bigger the lump obviously uh, you're going to leave thick thick parts to the form or the cross section so this is going to enable me to end, end up making a lighter pot it just takes it's done over a while so now I do on the inside and I'm just going to join that really carefully the shape of my thumb is kind of useful in this one so trying to do it gently without too much distortion because if I distort it then I'll pay a price later on so now it's great to be doing this on a, an electric wheel because it reduces the physical effort but maybe you can be in danger of being too mechanical now right so that's it all the way around on the inside on the outside so now what I'm going to do is get one of my tools here and try to put some manners on it at this stage before I add any water so now what you could do is with a, a paddle and a mushroom beat it to make sure you get a really good join because if you don't get a good join it can crack in the firing at the um, you know, the clay comes under a lot of pressure with the heat. So now I'm just getting the join on the inside. Maybe I'll do it with this tool. And a little bit of moisture now. Yeah. I've told the tool at the correct angle, of course be effective. Now. Okay. That's it there. So now So 
very gently I'm squeezing the clay up a little bit. You have to do it gently, you don't want it to don't want to pull it off the, the uh, from the the lower section that we've joined this coil to. So the thing to do is to bring it up at a slightly narrower diameter than you want because then you can always push it out but it's harder to slightly harder to get it in. Um, just concerned about the line that I want. So where are we this to here? So you can see it's come up a little bit. So now then the next stage will be leave it overnight, let it get a bit stiffer trim off the top and add, an, add another coil and on I go and that's the mysteries of one way of making a bigger pot so yeah so that's it